This wonderful sponge cake is courtesy of the CWA and it is a prize winning recipe. The author states, My mother won prizes at local shows with this sponge many years ago and I can see why. It is the only sponge recipe I make. It is that good. And it's the little things that make a perfect sponge. I've put the full recipe in the description of the video. Here goes. You'll need sponge tins roughly 22 centimetres in diameter and you'll need two of them. I like to butter the tins and then shake a little flour all over the pans then tapping out the excess. This is the old fashioned tried and true way to grease a tin. Then I measure my dry ingredients. Three quarters of a cup of caster sugar or superfine sugar go into a bowl. Then I place a sifter over the other bowl and measure three quarters of a cup of self-raising flour to which I add one dessert spoon of corn flour or cornstarch. You know a recipe is old when it measures in dessert spoons. I sift this into the bowl. You'll need four eggs for this recipe and it is crucial to the success of the sponge that they are at room temperature. It really does make a difference. I place the eggs into the bowl of a stand mixer and with the whisk attachment fitted, I whisk this mixture at a high speed for five minutes. After five minutes, the eggs will be fluffy and now it's time to add the sugar. Gradually, just a spoonful at a time, mixing well between additions. And this process takes me a good three to four minutes. Then I place a sifter over the bowl and gently sift the flour mixture a little at a time using a folding motion I stir it in. Next I measure one dessert spoon of butter into a small bowl to which I add four dessert spoons of boiling water and I stir until the butter has melted into the hot water. It only takes a minute. Then very gradually and while stirring I gently fold the butter and water mixture into the bowl. And I pour the mixture into the tins as evenly as I can. But to be honest, I made this before work and I was running a little late and my mixture was not really evenly distributed. Nevertheless, it turned out anyway. But try and get the same amount of mixture into each tin. I place the tins into a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I set my timer for 20 minutes. And 20 minutes later, I remove the tins and allow them to cool for about 15 minutes or so. Then I turn them out onto a wire rack. And as you can see, my pouring skills were a little off. Once they're cool, I wrap them in aluminium foil with a piece of baking paper between the sponges and they'll keep fresh this way for a couple of days. You can ice these sponges and fill them with cream or fruit or preserves. But what I like to do is I whip up some cream then I cut up some beautiful strawberries into pieces and laying one sponge on a serving plate, I loosen some strawberry jam and spread a nice amount evenly over the sponge. Then I pile on the cream, making sure it goes out to the edges, then on with the lid and lastly, a good dusting of icing sugar. And there you go, a delicious sponge that is really economical but also super impressive. I recently served this sponge to a group of elderly people who have eaten a lot of sponges in their lives and they all rated it a 10 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again soon.